Hi, welcome back. So, in this lesson, we'll learn about the purpose of test planning. So, to remind you, we are learning the first chapter of our advanced test management syllabus and in that we are talking about test planning, monitoring and control topic. So let's go ahead. So test planning is often driven by a test policy that exists at a company level and a test strategy that exists for a particular project or a group of projects. Sometimes we talk about this group of projects as a program. So just to give you back again, again one more time. So typically the test planning in any context is driven by test policy and test strategy. Let us identify and understand these specific terms more clearly. So what is a test policy? A test policy, as I told you, it exists at a company level and it is a high level document describing the principles, approach and major objectives of the organization regarding testing. Any large organization, either a consulting company or an enterprise IT organization, they have at a very high level a test policy document, like they have a development method document exists for guiding the development within the organization. Similarly, a test policy exists for guiding how testing should be done within that organization. So test policy typically talks about what we call testing mission of a particular company. So the next thing we talk about is test strategy. So what is test strategy? Test strategy is a high level description of the test levels to be performed and the testing within those levels for an organization or program. When we are talking about program, we are talking about one or more projects. It's a high level description, but it is very specific about talking about a particular program or project, what kind of test levels are needed, how to perform those test levels and it is a little bit more specific term. So every company has at a high level a test policy and driven by the test policy, test managers and other managers, other stakeholders, they evolve a test strategy for a specific project or a group of projects. That's what we are calling it as test strategy. So as we talked in test policy, we talked very high level about test mission. So what is test mission? Test mission is high level or abstract statements describing overall purpose of testing. Example, find defects, keep customers happy. They are at a high level abstract statements and these are typically incorporated within the test policy documentation of organizations. So what is test objective, this is more specific and these are typically outlined in our test strategy documents and test objectives are measurable activities, examples are achieve customer satisfaction scores greater than 75% or estimated remaining defect density should be less than some 0.1 defects per care of, these are more measurable and objective criteria are set and these are called test objectives. Typically, test mission is outlined within a test policy document and test objectives are outlined within a test strategy document. Both test policy and test strategy drive the test managers to come out with a good test plan and test planning activity. So as a test manager, you will identify activities and resources at the time of test planning. Why do you do that? To verify the testing mission of our company is established and also you are meeting the test objectives as outlined within your test strategy for the project and also implement the test strategy by way of test planning. So in a sense, making an operational plan actually it operationalizes your test strategy within a specific project and also very important aspect of test planning is to communicate the planned testing to the stakeholders, the clients, other managers who have stakes in the success or failure of this project. So keep that in mind, very important. So to talk about test planning a little bit more elaborately and the purpose, so test planning implements test strategy. 
So the test plan prescribes the scope, approach, resources and schedule of testing activities. So in a sense, it operationalizes the test strategy or the test objectives outlined within a test strategy document for a project or a group of projects that is called a program. So also test plan identifies scope, what should and should not be tested. Very important to upfront, tell these things and communicate it to all the stakeholders which actually reduces any potential misunderstandings between the stakeholders, very important. Then next item is it establishes how the strategy applies to the software under test. So very important. Then let us look at different type of test strategies we may apply. So different type of test strategies that exist, something called risk based testing. For example, companies use different type of test strategies, something called risk based testing strategy, reactive testing strategy. Let's say you are using risk based testing strategy, then how do you do test planning activity? So risk based test strategy, it could influence the test plan by identifying product risks and how testing can help. So risk based test strategy aims at identify, identifying the risks by performing a thorough risk analysis and then using that information to plan testing appropriately. So identifying product risks and how testing can help to mitigate those risks. Highlighting additional static testing like reviews or for poor quality documentation needed as test bases. This is an example of how you can use risk based testing strategy to enable your test plan and also setting relative priorities of the testing activities based on the risks or relative risks of your application under test. So let's say you are using a reactive strategy. So reactive strategies are more applied in agile DevOps environments. So reactive strategy is like uh, you don't have very uh, analytical kind of strategies but because of whatever time and complexity issues are less, so you adopted a reactive test strategy. And this reactive test strategy could influence your test plan by crea the creation of testing charters. So exploratory testing is the way people achieve uh, reactive strategies. And then tools for dynamic, dynamic testing techniques such as exploratory testing. If your teams are not understanding what is exploratory testing, a good training program must be conducted so that you are operationalizing the reactive test strategy by your test plan. So keep that in mind. So before we conclude, let us understand how we understood these terms test mission, test strategy, test policy and test objectives. So I have on your screen four definitions on the left and four the terms on the right. So you have to match them properly. So the first one is a high level document describing the principles, approach and major objectives of the organization regarding testing. So what is this de definition? Which term suits this definition best? Yes, you are right, it is test policy. So let us read about the second definition there. Measurable activities like achieve customer satisfaction scores greater than 75%. So this is a very specific measurable activity, testing objective, that's what we talked. So it is test objective, yes you are right. The third statement talks about a high level abstract statement describing overall purpose of testing. Example, find defects, keep customers happy. If this is the kind of abstract statement, what is it called? Yes, you are right, it is test mission. And then the fourth definition, a high level description of test levels to be performed and the testing within those levels for an organization or program, one or more projects and that is, yes, you are right, it is test strategy. So hope you have understood the definitions of test policy, test objective, test mission, test strategy and how they are related and how test planning takes all these as inputs and operationalizes as test plan and why it is important for test managers to do this activity very well. So 
Hope you have enjoyed this session. So learn and have fun.